Um, so let's let's jump straight in. You are playing episode four. Fifth episode is coming soon. About two hours. Yeah, good thing I'm starting now. Let's do it. Really enjoying these. They're fun. They're short and sweet. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fizz to Fathom Carson House. What? What I'm about to recount happened when I was 14 or so at the time. Oh, that's right, because people can submit their stories. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Ugh. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though, since I lived out of my RV and liked travelling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Damn text messages? I don't want to text while driving. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keeps the memories at bay. I'll read that when I stop somewhere. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature give, gave me happiness. I felt like I was at home in the woods. Oh! I'll pull over and I'll read. I'll be good. Is this Mitch Scott? Yo, Haglard, typo in my title. Uh oh. Where? Ah! Oh! Horro! I love indie horror games. <laughs> Thanks, man. Can't believe I missed that. Appreciate you. Keen for Overwatch later. Hopefully, I, I'm gonna smash this out and I should be ready. Congratulations on the transfer. Feeling ready for change? I'm walking on 
only got no homies feeling like a ghost She don't feel me anymore, she says I'm never home I got no lights on, I'm stumped in my chair again She never come home, she never will feel me again I cannot differentiate your day since 2016 And it just pains me, babe, I hate to see that you miss me Because the weather's cold and I'm knowing life is fast And you know I got you, but I'm always on my ass Fuck it though, when you're up, I'm feeling down And when you're round, I'm feeling gone I'm on my way to nothing always in the universe Please just take my pain away, I'm in reverse And yeah, you know I got you, but I'm on my way to dirt Just pull over the van. Oh, I, I, I wanted to go go stand in the middle of the road for you and just dab it out, but we can't. I'm sorry, Zozo. I tried. <laughs> I know. I know. Oh, I know. I need to figure out what to... What to do redemption-wise. Or, like, have some goals or something. I think I need to bring back, um... Make Me Play. Where people could, you know, choose a game for me to play that I've got on Steam or Game Pass or whatever. And make it really expensive. I just... I just... This game, so these games need to give it. way more warning when it wants you to like pull over so or slow down. That'll do. Well, it's going to be hanging out somewhere. Better over another car park than where people need to drive. Oh, hey. How's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This place is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? I'm a new star for an Ironbark State Park. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people ran here think something else happened. Something else? There's rumor going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Big Four or Goatman. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Some of them come back with stories you'd not believe. Some of them never come back. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Spinom. Jesse. Hold on, we'll check. Well, there's no bullet holes. So it, if it is the Breaking Bad van, it's very early on. <laughs> we need to cook. Jesse! Jesse! Yo, Mr. White! <laughs> Jesse! <laughs> I, Mrs. V, I forgot to tell you, I saw 
not too long ago, there was an ad. Uh, they got Brian Cranston back for an ad about, like, anti-littering in Mexico or something. So they had, like, footage, you know, like, he's, like, rolling the barrel through the desert. And he's, like, rolling it through and he's, like, picking up garbage and, like, his pants and putting it in the barrel like it's a bin, like, he's cleaning up. Great ad. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. <laughs> Jesse! Jesse! Oh! Welcome to Twin River Diner! How you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you. Please. <laughs> Please leave me alone. <laughs> you look a little lost. Just tired. This place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for vanilla latte. So where are you headed? Starting my new job at a nearby state park. Ah, that's great. I didn't know those jobs still existed. What do you do? I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's... I don't think I can handle a job like that. It's not for everyone, that's for sure, but I find it very fulfilling. That's exactly how he would put it. Hargalion's gonna be watching me like, Corbin, you're never gonna finish this by the time I'm playing Overwatch. If you talk to every NPC. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm heading up north to make a delivery. What about you? I'm a staffer at Iron Park State Park. So is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids the other day? We can't say. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Aw, gee whiz, aw. How's the food? He just stared at me. Oh, I had a really great voice for you. I'm gonna be... <laughs> Take this seat and just look at that. What about here? Hey! Oi! Garçon! <laughs> Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes. So what can I get for you today? Ooh, cheeseburger with fries, classic. Grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings. Not a big onion ring fan. Meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Look, I get cheeseburgers with fries a lot. Let's go the meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Very well. Would you like anything to drink? Let's go with strawberry slush. Perfect. Anything else? That will be all, thank you. Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. Appreciate it. All right, we're on our way. Hope oh, my van's okay. Jesse, I really have to pee. Oh, we gaming. be one of those people that ruins public bathrooms. I hate that. <coughs> Good.
Oh. Yeah, bring me that food. Thank you very much. Three dipping sauces. My god. We are spoilt today. What's that look like? A mustard, a ketchup, and a mayo or aioli or something? Oh yeah. Get that in ya. What do you want, Kayla? I'm trying to eat a meatball sub. So how, did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Consuming. Told you. <laughs> this food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. In the new lookout. Wow. Hey. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Yeah. Oh, I gotta wait for the check, don't I? Here's the check. Your total is 7.6. Ah! Uh, I think that's the normal amount they tip in America, right? At the time? Hope you enjoyed the rest of your ride. Thanks. Like, look, it was a pretty, it was some pretty good nuggets and pretty good meatball sub in that, but I don't know if it's worthy of a, you know, 50% tip. Let's get back to the RV. I didn't shut the door? No, I did. <gasps> Someone went in it. You're not gonna tell me that someone went in my van, did ya? Oh, you just let it happen. bathroom door was strangely jammed. Ah, oh, come on! There'll be someone in there! I don't like that. So what choice do we have? Hey, you suck! I wasn't very proud of my driving. Whoa, Talk about your blind spot. Oh, I'm thinking of my Australian roads. I don't need to. We're good. All right, we're back on track. Do 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 do. 8.02 p.m. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. What if I just keep going? Nah, it's gone too slow, I gotta back it up.
I just wish the game would be like, have the little text come up to be like, to be like, my turn was coming up or something. Like just, just a bit of a heads up would be really cool. Well, I think that's as bad as good as the parking's gonna be. Hello? <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me! I thought you were one of them! One of who? Hey, may Lord have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? Blah, blah, blah. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. There's someone walking in the f forest. Yay. Hang on, let me check on that. Mate, there's a guy in the there's a guy in the forest. Why are you checking your MySpace? Oh. Okay, pal, you're good to go. Your staff at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Thank you. Let me open the trail gate for you. Thanks, mate. I'm assuming I drive. Oh, he wants to talk to me, I think. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. I got a hike! Thought I might need one. You be careful, take this. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Okay. All right. Thank you, Billy. Please take care of my van. Oh. Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. How do I use it? Oh, F. F for flashlight. Oh, my bag. Anything else that I'm supposed to know? All righty, let's go.
No fires. Yo, Squid. No, I've only done the first three. This is the fourth one. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. System password is Ironbark. Town number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. All right. Um. No. Yeah. Hello? State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art Lookout Towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, 
Don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Okay. Hello, Eden. Is it you like fears to fathom? Pretty cool, hey. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? I've never played this one before. I'm really keen. Wow. I might get stuck. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <sighs> Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh <laughs> So I'll try and figure stuff out for myself, but if I get stuck, I will ask for assistance. I'll be like, please. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is, the basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife, uh, with a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. Sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh my god. Yo, bud. Good to see all those birds are better. Oh. Good thing I put on um, moisturizer every day. <laughs> Yo, Dill. I'm by lookout. I saw you did um, the new one last night. I'm not up to that. I've got to, still got to do this one. Um, just checking out the computer. They, the, the, the thing said no games on the com Oh, on Nito. It's a game within a game. Oh my God. Go, go, go.
tough one, eh? Fuck! Dude, I um, I saw, I kept seeing mouthwash in my friends activity section on Steam. So I looked it up and I watched the trail and I was like, that sounds intriguing as hell. So I got it and I might play that. I don't know. I still got to do the next Fears to Fathom. And then uh, I've got some other like, I've got like Iron Lung, uh, Missing Hiker and stuff to go. Like I've still got a bunch of like little indie horror games to go. I've just been waiting to do them in October. Now October's here and I've run out of time. Because it's still not October. It's not October anymore, I've just realized. So I was like, no, wait, I'll do them in, uh, I'll do them in October. Mrs. October. Hey. Me aim good. Does this ever end? Hello there. General, literally, General Kenobi. <laughs> I don't even have to make up a name. It is literally General Kenobi. <laughs> Oh! Look out! Hey, going, Zoe. Do 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 do. Hey! Ah! Oh my God! Oh yo yo! Oh hi! Zoe, it's really concerning. I gotta play Phasmophobia tomorrow for a friend's birthday. And we still haven't a ch I can still have a chance for you to teach me how to get good at it. I'm going I'm gonna be going in blind. I won't know what to do. Oh, I thought I was hoping that barrel would explode. You, but you know, you know what you're doing. I don't. I played it like once, and I got annoyed. Bang. Where does this lead? Coming through. Oh, just back around to the house. Alright, that's enough of that. Nice. Do it. Cool. Goodbye. Ah! Oh, hello? Oh, I'm doing, I'm streaming this until I finish it. And then Hagalan wants me to play Overwatch with him. I'm already booked out, Zobi. I'm already booked out. But if I wasn't, I'd be like, let's do Faz. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Multipass. Multipass. Overwatch. You guy, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who's this? I'm Connor, Fire Tower 12. You were watching? Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Blah. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? 
I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature's about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Mm, got it, thanks. <laughs> Alright, we're making a fire. Gonna make a fire, we're gonna need wood. Alright, I can't grab the axe, so I'm assuming there's wood. Somewhere. Oh! Okay. I can't go down, so the wood must be up here. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? I'm trying, uh... Wood stove should be around Connor? The Get her lit. Yeah, baby! There's no wood in it! What do you want me to do? <laughs> There's no wood, Connor! Where's the wood? Hey, Eden! <laughs> Eden. <laughs> no! I bet the wood's down there. There's no firewood. No firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. <laughs> hey, boinks! Hey, you going, Jackie? She was one gritty woman. Okay. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Okay. The gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Okay. I'm well, how are you doing? Okay, now I can go to the shack and get the wood. Oh! Do 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 do! Going down to the shack. Gonna get me some firewood! Do 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 do! We got some extra supplies around here, which is very nice to see. Got some, uh, got some wood. Let's take it on back to the tower. Do 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 do. Do do do. Gonna have a nice little time in the tower. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ba 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 ba. <laughs> do 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 do. Wonderful to see you as always, boinks. I'm glad you... Well... Um, why is this so hard? I got it. Burn. Do I need kindling? Oh my... Oh my god. really good at this. Fucking hell. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. First go, Connor. Can you tell I'm an outdoorsman? Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No. It's my first day, Connor. You prick. Alright, how many knots? Where's the light? 17 knots. This is easy! 17. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know. Normal. Normal weather. What's the temperature? Where do I find that? You're a compass. 46.8 Fahrenheit. 26.8 Ah. Uh. <laughs> what if you lie? I don't know. Normal. None. Reported by what's my name again? Jack. Tower 11, copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Did you report for the night yet? Yeah, it's done. Very well. Anyways, I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. What's the time? 11.30. Um... Alright, we got a fire gun. Um... I'm gonna see if he really did sign off. Good night, Connor. Imagine if we saw a silhouette of someone, like, creeping up there. Oh, yuck. Yuck. Be like, Connor! Connor, do you read me? There's a... I see a little silhouette of a man. He's like, Scaramouche, Scaramouche. So Connor's over in 12. Oh, look at that. Look at him. He did his at 9.05. What a nerd. And then over in 10, we've got Sophia Jackson. She helped two hikers. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Whatever, man. You alone. Anything in the bin? No. Can I put you in the bin? No. Um... Do 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 You right? Um so lights out after 12. Yep, yeah, so it's 11.30, so we still got time. Supply drops every Sunday. No guests. Here's the password. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting somewhere. No video game system. Remember to call you. Oh, I can't drag it to the bin. Alright, guess it stays. Um... I guess we go to bed. I should turn the light off. I left the light on. Connor. Connor? I had to pee.
Oh, we're just going to peel off the edge, are we? All right. Hope Connor's not watching. Only Imperial Stormtroopers are so precise. These these piss marks, too inaccurate for sand people. <laughs> All right, let's go back to bed. <laughs> oh, Zoe, get this. I am um, I'm seeing my nephew at Christmas, and so I bought him. Uh, he's five years old. So I bought him some Star Wars Lego. So I got him, uh, it's the, it's the pack. It's like the X-Wing and TIE Fighter mashup pack. So it's like, you make like a little X-Wing and a little TIE Fighter. They actually look pretty good. And they got like little pilots and stuff. And then you can take the wings off each and put them on the other one. And so it's like, yeah, two in one pack. So that arrived in the mail today. And so I went and bought, uh, uh, wrapping paper. So I wrapped it all up and everything and it's all ready to go for when I uh, go see him at Christmas. I get to be Uncle Corbs this year. And then and then my, my mate says, his, his dad, he's like, you know he's going to want you to build it with him, right? And then he's going to ask you a million questions and I was like, sounds good to me. <laughs> it's exciting. No worries, Jackie. Have a lovely weekend, Jackie. Glad you're well. Mmm, Coco. <sighs> yum, 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 yum. Take photo. I, I'm gonna be Uncle Cobbs this year. Ah. Uh. And I had to, like, I'm on the website and I've got an account now, like lego.com, and I'm looking at it and I'm like, no, Corbs, you don't need the the $1,200 Millennium Falcon. You don't need it. <laughs> Do not buy it. But I'm like, but that'd be so cool to have. I could, like, build it on stream. And it's like, it's pretty big and detailed. But yeah, it's like, it's like 1200 bucks for the learning value, like for the good one. <laughs> oh no, I might have to build Legos with him. What a shame. And then they've got like, and then Zoe, you'll appreciate this. They've also got the Venator, the Venator class Star Destroyer, which is like, that's my favorite Star Destroyer. They've got that and that's like a thousand bucks. And then they, but they've also got and then I also love, they've got the ATTE, which is a lot cheaper, but then I'm like, if I get some, then I gotta get more, and I don't, I just can't, I can't. But I'm like, I'd love to get the Venator Star Destroyer, the ATTE, um, I love the Arc 170 Starfighter, you know, the one, it's the one in the start of Revenge of the Sith, it's like the, it's like the, it's like a, bigger x-wing with the six wings and it's got the it's got a pilot a co-pilot and a gunner and like a rear gunner i love that's probably my favorite starfighter so i love because yeah i grew up grew up with the prequels like i love all the clone wars shit but i'm like you don't need it la 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 i want it all though i want to buy it i want to buy all the star wars lego it's not fair But first, let me take a selfie. Space to get off. <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna come back to get me, isn't it? Alrighty. 
My brother still has all the proper non-Lego toys from our childhood. The AT-AT, the X-Wing, the TIE Fighters, the little Jawas with the glowing eyes, Boba Fett, the slave ship, the Falcon, all of it. Oh! oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, I'm not like a collect all the action figures kind of guy or or anything, but like Lego. If, if, I, if I had a job that was paying more and I had my own place and I had a, a bunch of shelves for it, I'd be buying, I'd be buying all the Star Wars Lego. I'd be, I'd be going to town and I'd be building it all on stream. But I, I do not make enough money to justify that. I spend enough, I spend too much money on video games and food. Uh, I cannot add Lego to that. This is why I don't, this is why I no longer do Magic the Gathering and I don't do Tabletop Warhammer. I am already spending too much money on stuff. I cannot add hey, another I'm thing to that list. Yo, Connor. This is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? No, no shit, Connor. Oh, Dill. And Dill, I see those people that have, like, enough Lego to, like, make a reenactment of, like, the Battle of Hoth or the Battle of Geonosis, and I'm like... It hurts. <laughs> I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to make a Lego Battle of Hoth. I want to make a Battle of So I'm actually considering adding a, a Twitch donation bar. Just like the lyrical, the way he had that one to get the, the Legend of Zelda tree. I'm so tempted to have one that's like... A thousand bucks to get me the Millennium Falcon. But I'm like, do I? I'm considering it. We'll see. Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Oh, tell me about it. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Let me have a look. Oh. How cool would it be? And I also want the Death Star. Like that, you can get like that really good Death Star, which has got all these different rooms for like all the iconic scenes from, oh. <laughs> But I'd be content with just, just the original trilogy Millennium Falcon, like the big one. I'd be content with just that. Actually, no. Cause I'd love it. I'd love like a proper X-Wing. Nah, it's, it's too much. It's too much, it's too much. The Star Destroyer is pretty... But Dill, I want that. I want the Venator. I want the Venator Star Destroyer. <sighs> Motherfucker. I need you to confirm. Yeah. Do you see that smoke up north? Yeah. Yeah, Connor. I do. Yeah. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Yeah, who would who would throw who would throw cups off of towers, right? Fire risks are high this season. Oh dude, there's so many great Empire Strikes Us back is like, here's a good scene. Star Destroyer! Scene. Star Destroyer! Star Destroyer! Star Destroyer! Star Destroyer! <laughs> Star Destroyer! <laughs> it is cool. I am due for another watch. Am I checking it out? Okay, heading north, I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Bear spray? Oh, Yeah, watching Empire in that kind of weather would be good. Because yeah, you got Hoth, Dagobah. And then you feel like you're all snug in Carbonite. 
The Obi in my PC case is the original toy we had from childhood from the prequels. My brother wasn't as diehard about keeping the prequel ones, so I nabbed those. And Ewan was obviously the best part of those, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Snug and carbonite. There's a I've gotta I gotta bug my parents. There's a great so when I was a kid, so of course the mo the original movies were re-released in cinemas in nineteen ninety-seven. That's when I was seven years old. <sighs> Showing my age. So my mum got my dad to take me to go see episode four at the cinema. Which was great. I was immediately hooked. Loved it. Um but for a I don't know how long it was, but for a while I didn't see. We just did, we didn't exactly race out to go see Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi uh, at the cinema straight after, because I knew they were I knew they were playing all three, but I was sort of like, look, one's good for now, I'll wait. But then X amount of time passed, and um, I didn't know that Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite, and then. I remember we went to uh, Pizza Hut or KFC, maybe KFC or both, and there, and of course, and they had Star Wars themed stuff. And I remember seeing pictures of like Han Solo and Carbonite. And there was like a little toy which was like a little jigsaw puzzle of Han Solo and Carbonite, but I didn't know it was Han Solo. I didn't recognize his face, um, so I was just like, oh yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what the hell this is. Um, and Han Solo was like my favorite character. And then I think enough of that went on that my parents then thought it was really funny that for Christmas or my birthday, <laughs> they bought me the Han Solo frozen in carbonite action figure. So it's got Han Solo in the black pants, in the, in the pants and the white shirt, and then the, the carbonite block. So they video, they videoed it. <laughs> like, oh, you gotta open, you gotta open this present, Corb. So I'm in bed. You're like, I'm like, what, seven years old, eight years old. I'm in bed. I open the present. I open the box, and I think it's something like you just see me go like, oh, Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite. Like, cause I had no idea. That was how I learned. They spoiled the movie for me <laughs> by getting me the action figure. And it blew my mind. So then I remember we finally then we rented out Empire Strikes Back from Video Easy or Blockbuster on VHS. And the whole and I knew it was coming, but I remember like the whole time I'm like I'm like to dad, I'm like, is the bit coming up? He's like, no, not yet. <laughs> like it's like, dude, we're dude, we're still on hot. Like, what are you talking about? What have you never seen this movie before? And then when we get to Bespin, I think I was like is it coming up? And he's like, like, there's a bit, I remember my dad was like, yeah, <laughs> like, it's like we're on Bespin now. So it's coming. And I was just, I was traumatized. I was absolutely traumatized. <laughs> but I gotta, I gotta see, I don't know if they've still got the video. <laughs> Cause if they do, I really, I haven't, I have not seen that video since for like years, like uh, decades. I'd love to see, <laughs> I'd love to see it. It'd be so, it'd be so meme worthy. It'd be so meme worthy. So yeah, I'll see, I'll, I'll see if they've got it, and if they can digitize it and get it to me, and then I'll share it with you. Um, or I'll, or I'll throw it up on TikTok or something. We'll see. Um, <laughs> but that's my, that's my Star Wars story. It's so good. <laughs> I used to have a toy of Han and Carbonite. So when I was a child, I used to put him by the window in the sun, trying to thaw him out. That's great. Oh, uh, yeah, stream alert. Like, Han Solo gets frozen in carbonite. Like, I was... Blew my little mind, Zoe. Blew my little mind. And then I remember... I can't remember if it was that time when we watched it or another time, but I remember it was just always... It was always so tough. The ending of Empire Strikes Back was always so tough that I remember one time we were literally like, right, let's get in the car, and we drove straight to Video Easy took Empire Strikes Back back and rented at Return of the Jedi, went home and watched it just to be like, okay, he's rescued. I remember we did that at least once because we didn't own them for whatever reason for ages until we taped them. Um, we would go rent it out. We was like, we gotta go, we gotta go rent out Return of the Jedi and get Han Solo saved. It was great. 
Um, but as a kid, like, the ending of Empire Strikes Back is a real drag. <laughs> like, I remember finding Empire Strikes... Like, as a kid, Empire Strikes Back was probably my least favourite because of how dark it was in comparison. But then the older I got, the more I appreciated it. Um, oh, like, that whole Jabba's Palace sequence is so fun. And that could have been... That could have been, like, a movie on its own. Like, they could have fleshed that out. And that could have been, like, a whole movie on its own. Like, a whole big heist movie or something. That would have been... Like, that would have been cool. It was great world building and, like, all the puppets and... Um... It was awesome. And then the whole, re like, reveal of Luke's built a new lightsaber and he's been training. Like, so cool. So rad. The, e the Ewoks are cute. I totally get it that George Lucas originally wa I really originally wanted it to be Wookiees. Like, I think his original plan is he wanted it on Kashyyyk. And he wanted, like, all the Wookiees to help them. But at the time, like, getting that many Wookiee costumes and that many, like, seven foot, eight foot people, that would have been... Yeah, that would have been... Tricky. So, I can see why they... I can see why they changed it. But it's, it's nice, like, it's, it really shows just how, like, pure good defeats evil. Like, it's, like, that is, that is it. It's great. Over and out. Over and out. Uh, so I need the bear spray. And, like, you saw what his vision was for, like, Kashyyyk and Wookiees in Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, they weren't doing that in, in 1983. Not happening. <laughs> Not happening. Um, bear spray. Is that this? I assume that's this. And then, what's the time? Seven forty-two. That's the. It's morning, right? You reckon that's that's seven forty-two? A. That's a.m. Right? That's yeah, yeah. Because he's outside in the morning having a cocoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we might take... Oh. I can't bring the compass with me. Alright, we're just taking the spray. Alright, let's roll out. Oh. The Ewok party is very cute. I want to take the compass with me, but it won't let me. It reckons my hands are full with just this. So... Where are we going again? That way. Alrighty, let's go. You're asking a lot, Zoe. <laughs> You're asking a lot. Uh... Oh, deal. Did you just buy the Lego Millennium Falcon? Did you buy a Star Destroyer? Ah, oh, we're in... We're in America, I think, Zoe. I think. I don't know. What did you get, Dill? What did you get? Portion. Bear in area. It's a barrier. Oh! Let's go! Yeah, Dill's coming to Good Things Melbourne for Callan's birthday. Let's go. Let's go, dude. It's going to be so good. I'm so keen. I'm so excited to be going to go celebrate Game Train's birthday. But it's going to be so much extra good. Like, you're going to be there. Um, who else is going? Uh, Looper's going. Dave's going. Bard's going. Damo might be going. A whole bunch of other people might be going. It's going to be a good time, man. It's going to be a good time. Oh, Zoe. Oh, Zoe. If only. Yeah, because we're, we're going to... um, We're going to good things in Melbourne for a mate's birthday. To celebrate his 40th. If only everyone could go. Have you seen Electric Callboy yet, Dill? Didn't you see them at something... 
recently? No? <gasps> so now you get to tick that off. Oh, excellent. I've got their last few albums, like their last two albums and EPs saved in my Spotify, ready to listen to this month before before good things. So I'm so I'm ready. Oh, you missed the Perth show. Oh, excellent. Well, let's let's get you a great spot for for Electric Callboy. And I'd be keen. I'm before I'm I'm just keen for corn. Um I would love to get a semi-decent spot for corn, but it's not the end of the world because I have seen them before. Other than that, I'm happy to go to whatever everyone else wants to go to. So good spot for Electric Callboy. Whatever Callum wants to see, I'm down. I'm so down. What song? What's Violent Femmes again? It's all. It's a big ask, Zoe. But Game Train has been a really good mate over the last year or two. So I was like, and I get to and I get to hang out with a bunch of other friends as well. And it's Melbourne, so I was like, all right, I'll do it. I don't just do it for anyone. Cause I don't have enough money. I can't do the. Oh, blister in the sun. Yeah, yeah, we 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 played that on the radio. We play that on the radio. Oh, I gotta put it out. That is awesome here, you got a ticket deal. It's gonna be good to see you again. And it'd be nice, because yeah, Pax was so, go, 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 go. While like, it'd be nice, we can all just hang at the festival. And then also on like, uh, the Saturday, we can all just hang out and, and chill without the pressure of PAX and stuff. Every year, every year PAX is just... There's never enough goddamn time, man. There's never enough damn time. There's never enough time to hang with everyone. We do, we do zone. We play it on the radio. I think the game wants me to go this way. Step out here. Show yourself. Oh, Zoe, I still got to listen to... There was that other album you recommended. I've got that in my Spotify ready to go. But I did listen to that... Um... Was it... Is it... I'm getting the name mixed up. Death by Murder? Murder by Death? Wait, which one is it? <laughs> I'm getting it mixed up in my head. Murder by Death. I listened to that Murder by Death album when I went to bed that night. Really good. I want to actually listen to it when I'm not going to sleep so I can enjoy the whole thing. But I really, I thought it was good. I thought it was really good. Great. Like just all the instrumentation in that, like just all the instruments, just so good. So good. Really enjoyed. Really enjoyed the vibe. Do I just go back now that I've put the fire out?
You did. I've got it. I've got it there, ready to go. It's nice to have some music recommendations. And I've been catching up on, like, revisiting all of Bad Omen stuff, Poppy stuff, ready for January. Um, and yeah, I want to go and listen to... I've been listening to a whole bunch of Korn albums. Um... And yeah, I've got those Electric Cool Boys album, albums ready to go. Good. Good, good, good. Probably need to fill the generator up soon. Hello? Like a blister in the sun. Do, 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 do. Oh. Connor, mate, how you going? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? No. Son of a bitch. Yeah. They never learn, do they? No. What do you mean? Has this been happening a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? There was a scream, apparently. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear it because I was talking about good things and murder by death, but apparently there was a scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Glad to be of service, mate. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. Oh, no worries, mate. We're gonna contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out, Connor. Hello, oh, Massive. How you doing? Yo, yo, yo. We're working really hard. Here in the tower? All right, what's the temperature? 48.9. Let's go get the wind reading. 21 knots. 21 slip knots. Do 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 do. What is it? Uh, I've already forgotten both. Forty-eight point nine. Uh, I don't know. Cloudy. Yeah? Jack. Ten hasn't reported in yet. Like a blister in the sun. Do, 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 do. 
I'm gonna look at. Hey Connor, what are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? Here's it going? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. It's too hungry to go to bed without food. What are we cooking? We're gonna cook some pasta. Mmm. Ba 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 ba. No, it's the tea. There was like a TV dinner thing. Oh my god, I've ruined everything. I'm out of control. Uh. Oh, Kayla gave me a recipe. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we're making casserole. All right. Just a little pasta. Okay, uh, uh, marinara sauce, pepperoni, uh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Yep, good. Chug it. No. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Whoop. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Do, 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 do. Hey, pepperoni. Marinara, yep. It was mi it's missing something. Garden peas. No, all right. That goes in the no pile. <laughs> Looking good. Better shut that. Would hate for all the food in the fridge to go bad. No worries, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, man. You guys, you jumped. Dude, let me get to the thing. I'm coming. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. What'd they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and get some peace of mind. Do you what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Okay. I know it's been a tough day. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Ooh. I liked eating in bed. Then we shall eat in the bed. Um. Nom. Um. Nom. 
Numb. Um. I was already full. Eat the whole, eat the whole casserole. It does look pretty good. You should see the the food you eat in the first Fears to Fathom game. I think it's lasagna. All right, we'll put it in the refrigerator. Can I put everything else back in? Good enough. The whole full twenty blazer. It was getting cold. Thought I'd get. Thought I'd get wood stove lit. Oh, let's go get some. Uh, let's go get some wood. Lasagna versus casserole. Fight. Do 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 do. Can I grab some wood? La 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 Do 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 I love living in my tower Just living in my tower Love living in the tower Mmm yeah Just living in my tower Just living in my tower Yeah Gonna light that mother up Gonna keep you warm and dry as we go to bed and not be scared. I always like to close the boards outside before we go to bed. Oh la 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 ba ba ba. Doo doo, definitely not scared of the big bad forest. <laughs> I, sing, I also sing about what I'm doing when I'm a little scared in games. I. Well, I didn't hear I didn't hear anyone whistling in the forest. Did you hear anyone whistling in the forest and walking around? No, I certainly didn't. Not heard no such thing. I didn't hear that. I just heard the It's just the wind. La 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 let's go to bed do, 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 do. Yeah the lion's like in the brush like looking at its prey and it's like <whistles> I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open What the fuck was that? Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Yuck, dude. Yuck. Connor. Connor. 
<laughs> Bloom with Veer. A, a, a hydrangea of frightened viewers has blossomed in Corpse's Garden of Horrors. We're ready to pollinate your stream with our trembling petals. <laughs> what? Hello? Is it. Is it. Chili? Or Chile? Or something? Hello? <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Were you were you playing Fist of Fathom episode Chiel? Hello Chiel. I'm Corbs. Thank you for the raid. Rambling Petals, I love it. Um, have you been playing Fist of Fathom tonight? I just got scared. I just got scared by there's someone outside on the tower. There's someone there's someone on the tower. You did? Well, yeah, I just, I, I, I there's, there's someone on the tower, and I died. <laughs> Was that all you were streaming tonight, or have you done the, the new one? The Woodbury, Woodbury Getaway? I've heard this is my first time playing this one. Oh, oh! Contact Connor. We got Satanists in the forest. Connor! Do you copy? Hello? Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. I've watched too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This is serious. You don't understand, do you? Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and all you getting scared of people in towers? I'd expect better of a fellow dweller of the land down under. Look, man. I've never... I've never, I've never worked in a lookout before. <laughs> we were gonna do F5 too, but I thought we just didn't have enough time, so we were just watching spooky stories after. Did you have, have you had a good Halloween? Has it been a good time? Honestly, I feel like saying this are the least of your worries, really. Well, I've got, I've got bear spray. I don't know if I got Satanist spray. <laughs> Okay. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Good night, Connor. Now. Connor didn't make any sense. It was an enjoyable Halloween, even though this game scared me. So it wasn't just me. Hope you're having a good Halloween as well. Well, it's um, it's the first November. It's the first of November here in Australia. So we had it yesterday, but it was fun. I um, I took part in a Dead by Daylight competition uh, on a Survivor team, and we came second out of four Survivor teams, which is really cool. So um, it's been a good time. It's been a good time. I don't know about everyone else, but my Halloween was mid. Got egged by someone pulling a drive-by. That's not cool. Is that that's because yeah, in Australia here, there's a lot of Australians that think it's silly that we, you know, enjoy it. But it's like it's a fun thing to do. Like, what's the harm in taking part in a fun annual thing? That's that sucks, Red Ender. That's very sad to hear. Like, that's just like no one should be egged. Next day I woke up, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. 
There is something strange happening in those woods. Oh, really? Okay, it's the next night. I, 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 I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance in and around the tower. These binoculars really need to clean. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led to me led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Well, that's right, Zoe. More the more festivities, the better. Oh, Zoe. No, not Connor. Wait, is is this that game where you, if you see those cultists, they'll kill you? I don't know. I don't. I suspect so. But we've only seen one cultist on the tower so far. But let's be out. Uh, let's let's go easy on spoilers. Just for those that don't see this stuff on the old TikTok. Not sure what they want me to be looking at. Oh, hold left. Oh, I can clean it. I didn't. I wasn't even reading the the thing. Oh! Loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. What is your current location? Oh, tell me about it. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. What direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. You paying you paying attention, Zoe? Because if anyone's gonna find this guy's location, it's you. Oh, thank goodness, I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Hold on. There's a better map here. So he... He passed... Uh, hello? Yeah. Uh, are, are you still there? Mate, I'm looking at the map. Both of these trails seem pretty similar. I, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake and going further away from the road. Please help. Yeah, give me a sec, mate. So he was... He passed a small stream. Two trails? 
I, I, what else did he say? He's heading west. Apparently. I tried frap. Past the stream. Do you reckon that? Like, do you reckon he's there? Or... Or there? Left trail? Left trail? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should... <laughs> I knew it! Left trail, mate. Left trail, familiar. Left trail, it'll be fine. I don't think he said anything else. He just said, yeah, pass the stream, come to a, like, you know, crossroad, like, two trails, and he was heading west. I think that was it. Um, hope you reach, hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. I'm right here! What? I hear you. That's not me. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You, you're freaking me out. I'm going to throw this at you. Oh, holy moly, what took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost tiger. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful! Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Thank you, uh, can't remember his name. Fuck this guy. What, what were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I wouldn't screw around over there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. It's always a good day for toaster supplies. Bobcats and bears, you be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a business job. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, I better do my report. 24 knots. Ugh. Do do do. 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 Do do. 56.9. Nice. Uh, what was the weather like? <laughs> Push him off. <laughs> Long live the king. God. Oh, normal weather. Normal. 
One. Jack. I wasn't sure I put in the right weather condition. What? Wind? Okay. Ooh, 10 and 12 haven't done their things yet. Get on that. And there seems to be less and less reporting in early. That's concerning. I gotta b -b 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 buy it. B -b -b buy it. Feeling about that. I was too hungry. Oh, it's food time. Have we got any more text messages? Oh, we don't have um nom nom indeed. Uh, we don't have reception, so we can't go on TikTok. Oh dear. Oh, I love all the retro stuff. It's so cool. Uh, what do we make? What are we making today? Oh, leftover. Leftover, whoops. Leftover casserole. Yeah, give me that. I liked eating in bed. It's good. Um. Nom. I reckon uh, let's uh, let's uh, close up. Yeah. Oh, Roblox. Yo, Connor, how you doing? Okay. Hmm. Well. Oh, yeah, the fire. I always forget about the fire. Do, 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 do. I love going down to the shack to get the firewood. you you just gave me a heart attack <laughs> what's your name Right. All right. Nice to meet you. Do you usually work this late?
I agree. <laughs> Fire risks are high this season. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't trust this guy. It's getting late. See ya. He doesn't even use the path. Connor? You copy now. This is Jack. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. Oh, ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The nearby radio tower worker. <sighs> is this about yesterday? What do you mean? No worries, Zoe. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Over Good night. And out. Good night, over and out. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Not yet. Not yet. Two nights later. Sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the Thank computer. you for the follow. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. Let's update the computer.
I don't know. Four three four six zero eight four. Thank you, Red Ender. I... I'd like to... I'd like to have a laugh. This ain't gonna be good. This is not... gonna be good. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. Dude, give me a second. Uh, go for Papa Palpatine. Jack, you copy. Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Sit over and away this time. Take your photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Contact HQ for help. Oh man, that's that's messed up. We got another one. It's just the radio. I don't think there's like a phone. Binoculars. Can't go down. Like I thought, maybe like you go run and. Hop. Like, do I?
Okay. I think we then hide in the portaloo. You don't sprint very fast. Maybe it's because I was also carrying the the items. Ooh. We got another one. See ya. Into the RV. We are leaving. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. 
Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly, allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever sit, set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any, if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Oh. I think it's like 15, 20 bucks. The, the, the episodes usually go on sale every now and again as well. So that was, that was the fourth episode. And there's currently five available on Steam. Another good one. They're great. They're great little, great little nuggets of horror. They're really good. I'm really looking forward to the next one. It's really cool. I'm really keen to see where the series goes.